Hello there, this is Stockholm 3D with a quick tutorial on how to avoid sliding feet, whether it is by right click walking your character or by trying to link one motion to the next. So uh, let's get started. It's pretty easy, so uh, this shouldn't take more than five minutes. Alright, so all we're going to do here is uh, use our little friend Gorf here with um, and make him walk very quickly or uh, whatever, <laughs> as quickly as he can move and do uh, walk forward. Uh, usually when you do this uh, the avatars uh, tend to slide towards the end so let's see what happens here with a little Gorf here. So he starts walking do, 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 and just as he gets towards the end of the motion he will do a little slide. Okay so how do we fix this? Actually it's very easy. So the first thing we gotta do is let's open the timeline and I'm going to tell it to uh, object related tracks to be open and I'm going to turn that off again because what happens is if you select another object this track will disappear if this is on so and then you have to turn it back on again so usually what I do is I select the characters that I want you click on uh, objects that are related tracks and then deselect it again and then this, those tracks stay there for as long as I need them to so that's a quick tip. So uh, let's see. So let's see we got uh, our motion here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, zoom out. You can do that either by extending this bar over here at the top like that or you can click anywhere over here uh, on the timeline and then pressing the, the plus or minus key allows you to zoom in or zoom out in the timeline. So I'm going to go in here towards the end. I'm going to zoom in, make sure I'm right towards the end of the animation. And uh, I'm going to do a little trick here. I'm going to open up my project track. Actually, it's already open, it's selected, right, as you see here. And I click on the project uh, tab here. And I'm going to go ahead and click in here and select this little guy over here, which is Add Flag. This is a very useful tool to get you back whenever you're lost. So let's say we're zoomed out here, all the way over there, and we're here in the timeline, or we are towards the beginning of the timeline, and we want to go back to that point, uh, which is, in this case, the end of the walking cycle. I j all I have to do is press inside the project track, and uh, actually, let's press somewhere that's not close to the little flag and just press the tab key. That will take me exactly where I need to go and then using the plus key just zoom in in there and you're right there. So um, what I usually do is when I have several motions um, I simply just to once it gets to the end of the motion I just leave my uh, projects uh, track open and then I just add a little flag at the end of the motion that way I can keep on tabbing. Let's say there was, the, there was another motion and ended over there. I'm going to just go ahead and add another flag here. Close the little window and now I can go ahead and uh, click anywhere and then just go tab. It will go there, tab, it will go there. That way you can cycle through the ends of the motions. Um, I'm sure you guys know that if you are in the motion track and you press the tab key it will go to the beginning of that motion. Unfortunately, it will not go to the end of that motion motion clip. Uh, so one way to get around that is by using the project one, the project track, and just pressing the tab key. It takes you to the end if you put if you put the flags at the end of each clip, uh, which will become very useful. So um, right now it's a little bit tedious, but Reolution is already working on a hotkey for us. So uh, cross your fingers and probably be in the next patch. So uh, let's keep on moving here. Sliding feet. All right. So his walk cycle is pretty solid, so I'm going to just let him walk. He starts off pretty strong, there's no sliding uh, or minimum sliding, I mean something that no one would actually detect, but the end part is actually quite a lot. So see right now we just, the timeline, we were zoomed in and the timeline just shifted all the way back here. All we got to do now is click on the project track and press the tab key and now we're towards the end of the motion here. So see how useful this is using the flags? Uh, okay, so let's go in here now and see where the sliding is happening. Now um, make sure, 
Let's go first to the beginning of the action. I'm going to press the F key to take us to the front. One thing I like to do usually is make sure that the foot contact is on. Very important. And what I like to do is I like to move the character upwards a little bit so it's off the ground and then make sure that he makes full contact with the body, with the foot, the heel of the foot. Alright, so that's good. Now, I'm going to press F7, which is a camera that follows the character. And I'm going to just let it uh, do the little walk. So there you go. So he, as you can see, he starts off. He starts off very solid. And as we go towards the end of the animation, you're going to notice he's doing this little slide. All right, we're going to pause it right there. Click on the track, on the project track, and press the tab key and go back here. And uh, all right, let's go here where he starts sliding. Notice here that he puts his foot down there. And as soon as he puts the foot down, he will slide forward. All right. Now let's press. I'm gonna press the uh, preview cam. Make sure we're out of that, out of the um, follow cam, because when you try to adjust things, usually you should do it in preview cam. Because if you move the character, then the camera moves with it, and and it could be a little disorienting. So um, to go to the preview cam, you press F5. To go back to the follow cam, you press F7. That is pretty quick and easy. So first of all let me get rid of this little flag over here because all we need is to snap back to this little flag over there so I just got rid of that little flag and now I'm just gonna go ahead and press my tab key and let's go over here and see here he puts his foot down but he doesn't put it all the way down until after he slides forward what we want to make sure is that the heel of the foot is all the way down on this motion and I'll show you why in a second now this is when it starts sliding forward right there so what we're gonna do here is as soon as he puts his foot down there let's see there is it good I'm gonna click on the motion clip right click on it and I'm gonna break it the next thing I'm going to do here is as he puts his foot down there, I'm going to go ahead about there. Let's see, there. I'm going to go to the motion layer and I'm going to add a key. And I'll show you why in a second. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to move forward to about there, to the first where I broke the key. And now I'm going to bring up the, um, the motion layer editor and I am going to select the left foot and I'm going to make sure that he plants that foot all the way down the heel all the way down to the floor now look what happens when I do this alright so he walks he puts his foot down like so but the heel is floating a little bit uh, was floating but now it's not anymore but now he's still sliding which is fine but his foot is well planted on the ground so what I'm going to do next here is I'm going to select the clip where I, where I trimmed it which is the first frame that I trimmed it I'm going to right click on it and then I'm going to use align whole clip to in this case we want to do it to the left leg so what happens is Iclone is going to lock that foot down and allowing the whole animation to that left foot so there is no more sliding. So now look what happens. He starts walking and no sliding. Problem solved. That's how you f fix a foot slide at towards the end of a cycle. Very easy, right? that's all you had to do now remember the foot needs to be planted down because if it's not planted down look what happens when you do the alignment I'm gonna go ahead and uh, actually I'm gonna undo and uh, I'm gonna go to this key over here and I'm gonna bring the foot back up like it was before the heel was slightly upwards right remember like so so look what happens when I select this the clip and tell it to align it the whole clip to the left leg 
as I move forward see the whole character starts to float see how he's, he's floating on the ground he's above the ground and that's because the heel of the foot was floating so by us putting actually down all the way to the ground we we ensured that the whole clip was going to stay uh, level to the ground so that's a very important tip right there so basically that's how you fix uh, the sliding feet uh, towards the end or the beginning as a matter of fact of a walking cycle so what about if you have multiple motions if you want to link one motion to the other right so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get back in here I'm gonna undo uh, my uh, sliding motion here I'm gonna back over here to my foot make sure it's nice and stable on the ground oh I went too far don't go too far because you're gonna start twisting your body the body of the character so there we go we're leveled we're good and now I'm gonna go ahead again I am going to right click on it remember you need to be right at the beginning of the of the motion clip that you want to align the whole animation to and now I'm gonna do align whole clip to left leg alright so now he's solid on the ground and uh, he's ready so no foot sliding it's all good stop stop that's it so what if we want to like for example add a motion here um, a perform let's say he has many performs make sure you close the uh, editor because uh, otherwise you won't be able to right click and use the performs and I'm gonna go ahead and use the for example the push look what happens when you do the push alright remember about the flag comment that I made if you want to go towards the end of this clip what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go over here inside the projects make sure I have project track selected and I'm gonna add a flag apply you can even give it a name or a description it's up to you um, this is also very useful if you wanna do uh, let's say you have a song and for a particular beat you want a cut right there put a flag in there so that way you know it's like oh this is the point where I wanted to cut and go to another camera for example so very useful little tool here so now in the projects I'm gonna go to the beginning first so by pressing tab I just snapped back to the to the end of my previous uh, clip see how useful this is I'm gonna do two things one when you do the push uh, iClone adds a uh, emotion layer key there which you do not want so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and next let's take a look at what the motion does okay it's very important because uh, not notice how first he slides forward when you when you try to add that perform so we know how to fix that however the important part is not just to fix the sliding but also how you connect one motion to the next so now he put both feet on the ground right and then the next motion is he starts to move his left foot meaning that his right foot has all the body weight until his left foot uh, for his left foot sorry uh, goes down so that means that our motion to link uh, my previous motion to the next motion here the smart thing to do is using the right leg because that's where the body weight is at uh, before he performs his next motion so we are going all we gotta do here is basically just right click on it and say align to right leg now look what happens not the whole clip just align the, just to the right leg and now look what happens he, 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 he stops and then he moves his left leg but his right leg is always well planted and no sliding so this is a very good clean transition from one motion to the next and there you go that's the whole trick uh, for linking one motion to the next and and not having the feet slide and also to make it look good remember that the key is balance which foot does your character carries his weight as he does the next move 
So if his full body weight is on the left leg, align to the left leg. If his full body weight is on the right leg, then align it to the right leg. So this pretty much covers the basics on how to link one motion to the next and the walk cycle and how to avoid those sliding feet. So what about if you have motion capture? I have some people asking me, how do I realign a motion? So uh, let's, let's test that out, okay? I'm going to show you how, a very cool trick. I mean, this is one of the things that uh, I was saving for my tutorials, but seeing a lot of people having problems with me, with that, I'm going to go ahead and share it. So um, how do you realign motion capture after you, take, after you captured it? So um, check this out. I'm going to go ahead and just start a new project here. And uh, get uh, an action figure, like uh, for example, let's see um, uh, who's an action dude. Uh, let's use Kane. All right. So here we have Kane, and um, let's give him some motion. All right. So let's say you have a motion capture that has sliding in between. So how would you fix that? I'm going to go ahead and uh, drag uh, a motion that I have from one of, from, actually this is not a motion capture file, or maybe it was a motion capture file, uh, but um, it's from one of the Reillusion packs. Uh, I'm sure you guys will recognize this move. He slashes, and then he slashes again, and then he stands. But notice what happens. Okay, let's open our timeline. And uh, remember, just do uh, related tracks and then deselect it. I'm going to go to my motion track. I'm going to go ahead and uh, zoom in and out using the, um, the uh, plus or minus key here. I'm going to zoom in back in there. I want to go all the way to the end. And I'm going to open my project track here. Select, make sure the track is selected. And I'm going to plant a flag there. So, so something we can come back to in case we need to go to the end of the motion. Another thing you can do also is since we are not going to have any moves um, after this, you can just go ahead and just bring this mar the end marker. So now the motion won't go beyond his full motion here, his motion clip. And then I can press the spacebar and start again from there. So. Uh, that's another way of doing things, you know, just if you want to deal with smaller areas of in the timeline, that's this uh, using these markers are very useful. So you'll notice here, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here, actually zoom out, and uh, I'm going to slide, I'm going to slide the time bar. I want you to see how when he does this slash upwards, he does, he does this huge slide forward. Uh, this could be cool if he's uh, yielding like a very heavy weapon. You know, it's like the the momentum just carries him over. But what if you don't want that? What if you if you want his feet like solid on the ground, right? So how could you fix that? You already know all the tricks, but let me show you again just in case you missed it. Now let's go to the motion just before he starts sliding. Like 320 is pretty good right there. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in into the timeline just to make sure that I'm I'm right clicking right on top of the line here and I'm going to break this clip right there. Next, I'm going to go over here and see right where he ends the motion, which is about his sliding ends about 350, so that's good. I'm going to click in there, right click, break. I just broke that. All right, so how do we fix this? Because we have this huge slide in between the motion. All right, so we already know how to do this. What we do is we are going to select the clip, make sure we are right at the beginning of that clip, and we are going to right click, align, hold clip to the right leg first, because that's what his body weight is at, right? So, look what happens. We go over here, it stays solid, but look, all of a sudden he starts sliding forward. Why is that? Because the following clip here, he, the following clip here has um, a blending going on there. 
but don't worry we can fix that very easily so the foot stays pretty solid here but now what I want to do is once he gets to to the once he gets down notice that his body weight is gonna be on the left leg so now what I can do here is I can go ahead and right click align to left leg now look what happens slash and step forward sliding is gone Ta-da! Okay, so this fixes the sliding of of the character while it's doing the motion, which works great. But let's say, for example, that hey, Chris, I would like to have these motions, but I would like them to have them. I would like to have them facing the other way. How can you fix this? Because look what happens if you actually try to rotate the whole character. 180 degrees. So I'm going to press my E key here and I am going to go ahead and rotate him this way. Actually, I'm going to rotate him just 90 degrees to make it even worse and you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm going to press the spacebar. Look what happens with the motion. Look where his body is going. It's going everywhere except where he needs to go. So we wanted this whole motion to happen this way, right? So I'm going to go ahead and undo that, make him face forward. And here is the golden gem. This is how you realign motion capture, or any motion for that matter. Let's say that your char you want your character to be facing this after you already have your full motion. So how do you do that? Let me show you the trick you go ahead and uh, I'm gonna bring in a prop alright and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this guy I'm gonna right click I am going to link to the cube now I'm gonna go ahead and select the cube I am going to rotate the cube in the direction I want the action to happen like so now I'm going to select the character and I and now I'm going to go unlink now I'm going to make this as a dummy object and I'll, since I have dummy objects already invisible that's gone now look what happens with the motion motion realigned mega gem right here guys I hope you enjoyed it this is Stockholm 3D with another tutorial for Icon 5 take care and good night